Here on Bonaire there are few trees that are big enough to have a nest cavity for parrots in them. Most of the big old trees were chopped down in the 1800s. But we're in a tree right now that's pretty special because it's a rare old tree, it's big and it's got a parrot nest. Now parents are not supposed to have their favourites and neither are parrot conservationists but I have a favourite this year as I generally always do and my favourite is Buzz. Buzz was the first chick we found with who had the bright green feathers erupting from the quills and um, it became my favourite and uh, Buzz is in this nest with his sister Jessie and they're doing pretty well I'm gonna put the camera in the nest and I should be able to show you them Hang on. so Buzz and Jessie are mostly growing eating, growing, and pooping. You can confirm the pooping by the pungent aroma that I can smell. Unfortunately, you'll not get to experience that. The idea that Buzz and Jesse might be taken from their family, that they might not get to fledge from this nest, is one that I think about in the middle of the night sometimes. It's a bit tragic for these birds to be taken and put in a cage but they'll probably face malnutrition and an early death. The Echo team are doing all that we can. We're a very small team. We're monitoring parrot nests. We're, we've got a camera on this nest and on other nests. We've ordered more cameras. We're doing outreach activities to try and build a better future for the parrots. And it's your support that makes this all possible. I'd like to ask you today to donate to help us protect Buzz, Jesse and the other parrots. Donate anything you can, your support does make a difference and it could change their lives.